Yes, if you just watch that one and then you're the one that say, when this one go actually enter cinema because I won't go watch him. Yes, 26 years after living in bondage is back and better. Talking more concerning this production and some of the things where you will expect to see uh, for inside this movie. We get uh, one of the producers inside the house, Chris Ode there with us, and we get one of the actors in it, <laughs> David Jones. How are you day? Now, welcome. Really welcome, welcome. Now, looking at this, um, when anybody hear the title Living in Bondage, it takes us back to 1992. Exactly. 27 Seven years, years ago. Seven years. Yes. Some people don't even enter university, graduate, finish now, well, between Marry 1990. Marry born. Mm. <laughs> Living in Bondage. You might start with the producer. Why are we bringing this movie that has been so sensational over 27 years? Why are we bringing it back? Okay, so thank you for having us here. Really appreciate it. And you guys are looking very, very wonderful and colorful. Even when not too. So, um, I've been making films for a while. And um, if you notice from the film, a lot of people come together. Ramzi Noah, mm -hmm. Steve Gukas, myself, Chancellor Palike. And we just realized, say, for this our industry, in those days, they get good stories. Mm -hmm. But not like phone, they shoot the film. We look at it, they're very, very funny, blurry. If you watch it for YouTube, now you know they laugh. But we noticed that now we have stronger cameras. But like I said, we don't they lose the story. Now, nah, nah, every fine boy, fine girl, every fine boy. It's not bad to tell love, but we feel that we need to marry those are very strong stories with our new technology. So living in bondage, which is the first Nollywood film, was just the easy decision to make. Let's try it on living in bondage. So we go meet the people, get them, ask them for the rights they give us, and and now we're breaking free. How would they see? But we had to take the story to the next level. Yes. So you cannot live in bondage for two parts. I would say this time around, make it break free. Mm. Now, I, I actually like the fact that when our guys take the, this particular movie to the next level, now looking at what they happen for a cyber society now with this um, cyber crime wahala, how will this movie go they very relevant in today's reality? <laughs> it's better well. Because you know, in every man there's greed. And I ain't the devil they use against us. I ain't life they use against us. Well, that greed. And that greed ain't be Yahoo. That greed ain't be blood money. Because don't deceive yourself. These people say they do these things now. People say they look for shortcuts. Okay. But we're saying, if you take that shortcut, you must give something. If you're at our shop, go buy something, you must pay money to collect now. So that's way you get from these people, you get what you don't give. So this story they expose to you, say, now that greedy they say they push you to go give that thing. But if you give that you won't give. So if you watch the film, no matter who you are, you'll find yourself in the story. That's why it's gonna resonate with a lot of people. Okay, my my um ask so one of the cast for inside. Now looking at this movie and looking at um the character we actually play for inside there. Um, knowing say in the year nineteen ninety two, you may not have had an opportunity. You may not have I had an watch opportunity. Up, no, at the time, ah, not yeah, to watch. watch. Too. Not to so watch. I'm saying, finish no, 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 no. That's how you know. You feel not get opportunity to cast. Okay, that's true. To cast that's inside true. the that's movie. True. Why you decide say twenty seven years after where another opportunity don't come on mm. ground. Say you won't be part of the crew. Why did you decide to take the role where you take for inside this film? Why? Why are not going to decide? Living in bondage. You were in bondage. You don't understand. No, no. no. See, <laughs> if like say, if like say, if like say, make make the dawn uh, release um, Fast and Furious one. You understand? You know, see, you know, stay be. Yeah. You won't call his mate. Won't be inside exactly. Fast and Furious two. You come to ask me say why? Some people feel the start to turn and down. They don't get sense. You know, there's an actor in Nigeria. They say they say come play one kind kind of role. Well, I play for living in bondage. I can't talk saying no. They don't cost me now. Sick worry. So why do they take away your character for every time? Because um, for, for a lot of people, they come outside, they ask questions, say, mm -hmm. they ask, say, these actors, this the way that they act, mm -hmm. uh, is that how they are in real life? How do they take manage separating yourself from your character when you finish your work? Simple. Wow. We'll see. Switch. <laughs> and again, Ramsey, so for, this, magic in it, for, for this movie, Sha, yeah. Ramsey did a great job because Ramsey, they use the right words mm. to put you in character. Misha, they switch. But with Ramsey, you can't join her again. That's all. Because, okay, now, see me now. Like, yesterday, we finished the, um, the media, this thing. Really People, they ask me, say, now you did for the air. Because mm. you think different. Like, then they find who played that role with the interview. I'm, I stand for their phone like this. <laughs> so that's how they switch the be. No, this, my question may come into thoughts now. Uh, David Jones, which role do you actually play for inside this movie, first of all? I play Uzoma. Who Uzoma be? Now, one kind, eccentric blogger like that. Okay. When you didn't normal, you say, he's very intelligent. Mm -hmm. You know, now you bring down, now you bring down the whole, the whole call to, they call them the six. So, is Uzoma exposed some of their activities? Yes, yes. Okay. If you want to liken Uzoma to, to somebody you know in real life, you go talking about people like um, Ghani, Oh, I mean, oh, mm -hmm. people like Wole um, Shoinka, 
you know, you know, if you see there, you're going to say these people, they're not normal. Mm. That's what it be. So, man, I speak with the producer now. Now, he talks if you see that these people are not they normal. Why a selection in David Jones? Because okay. I, I just imagine, the, because I, I was living in bondage then, and I know the kind of characters we're actually playing inside out. Oh, yeah. So, I they wonder why you decide to use David Jones for the person who exposed their deeds. Okay, so, first of all, is if you see this character, when we do the breakdown, I say, Kai. I did with this story. Are you serious? You <laughs> the, just see how we say it. But you took the play now. Exactly. Because you know? I know David in play and in work. I don't know this guy for years. So, and that was when the Naigu and all those, you know, they come out. They, you know, so okay. we're seeing David switch. You said, this is not one junkie. You're going to say. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> that's, that's exactly. You know, and so, but, the magic. But, but what I realized when we're casting is that we needed to spread from the legends to okay. the freshers, to the hot boys in town, to the social media gurus. So I had to put so everybody when you watch this film, you go see whatever stardom connect to you, you go see and there. If you like old people, you go see. If you like the young, young greenhorns, you go see. If you like the the A that they are kind of gang, the fresh, fresh looking, you go see. If you like the online people, man, where they scatter your phone. So we were trying to cover that we had like allocations to all that. So when we saw him being an online sensation and also being able to be that eccentric character. And I've seen him play with Ramsey before. In one other film, so I said, Kai, we'll try. When they can't read, it was, that a, was, it. was a no brainer. Now, looking at this, the story now and seeing the trailer, we're not seeing a very beautiful, um, beautiful one, and we cannot just wait to actually sit down to actually watch and we'll wait for the movie premiere. We'll share it for November, and November is just tomorrow. Um, looking at the cast, we'll not see some cast for the 1992 edition actually before year. We gave people like Kenneth Okonkwo, Kanayo Kanayo, Bob Manuel, also there for there. But tell us some of the challenges in terms of production because a lot of people. Think say film now as they see for television. So it's very easy. They don't understand. Say sometimes you might even shoot as 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 late or as early as one a.m. in the morning. Tell us some of the challenges. We almost be like say this thing. Who does the put you come? You no go see morning. My dear, I want to say maybe the morning is a spiritual film. The movie is the fire prayer reach now. You know, the movie just didn't see the attack. Never see the attack us. But apart from that, it took us like actual engagement in production up to a year. We we'll shoot, go back, go look at and say, man, Kai, turn out small. See, which day? Which day go China's go show for China? Well, that was like two months, a month ago. That was the last time we shot, you know, but from October last day, we'll be shooting wow. and coming, yes. Mm. That's why I don't talk about the pre-production because some of us under the project for two years before now. So apart from that, everything that could go wrong goes wrong. From missed flights to traffic in Lekki, stopping you from meeting your flights to accidents to sickness. Some of the things you see that you love, people stand up from sickness and throw time, they send out. Go they run. Even the talents go we use the young new person, uh, Swanky JK. He was sick for more than half of the shoot period. But you don't go know because when we watched this, people were like, "Wow, wow, sister!" But the guy is suffer. He suffer. He was sick, had infections, had different things. Because the, the, it wasn't too. It wasn't, no matter how rich you be for production, you know if it turns on, you know if it turns rain, you know if you control those things, you know. So elements were a bit heavy on us. But the thing about film, be if you are passionate about what you are doing, then you put your mind and do it. So it wasn't easy, just like every other film. But we shall get film to show now today. But apart from logistics, uh, uh, I, I, I just uh, try to imagine them um, because we know say acting skills don't actually evolve over the years. Now this movie, you go see both old actors and then you go see the new generation actors merge together. You find any challenge in trying to get those old actors into how acting right now and be? So the good thing about it is, I think another decision we made again in this film was for Ramsey to direct this film. You know, Ramsey done the film since ninety one. Yes. Before mm -hmm. even it was made, he done the fortune. Mm -hmm. So if you call old, him be papa. If you don't call fresh now for the hottest films he's in the present, that so is still very relevant. Mm -hmm. So if he comes in when he's talking to David or talking to Swanky or talking to Nancy or Muna, you see the he's able to flow with them. If you go back to Kanayo and uh, Kenneth, there's a scene who shoot for church, through the night into morning, we carry Kenneth Okonkwo through and up, knock and for ground. The guy is tired, but he's the pain. I want to ask him to go back out. He doesn't tell me. See, this scene stressed me, Chris, but I will do it again. That's, you can imagine that kind of thing. So they, even them, they, they were shocked at the way, way the team would respond to the team. But mm. I think Ramsey was also the best choice because he's in the middle of the generations. So he brought it back for us.
that. I, I really love that. So tell us more about when we go see this movie, when Nigerians we actually experience the wonderment of this movie. So talk about that David, <laughs> now you go tell us. You are the journalist in the movie. Mm -hmm. So give us the information. In the movie. In the movie. In the movie. In the movie. Yes. In the movie. Anyway, the, 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 the Gwenta Cinema is um, November 8th, you know. Okay. And in fact, we, we even get media to ourselves around the whole, around every city in Nigeria. Every city. And, um, yes, and then the premiere will be on the 2nd, 2nd, next, next tomorrow, so. Yes, yeah, it's today, tomorrow, tomorrow is first. So. We're not wow. in November, finish. Yeah, we, start, uh, we don't start the work, so. Lego, Lego, we don't, we don't do the interview like this, so. So, basically, uh, you know, cinemas, November 8th. Everywhere. Then Can we, we, get, we, get, we get Abuja Premier on 6th and okay. we get um, Enugu 7th. Enugu 7th. So yeah. now I need to ask in terms of piracy, how will not go take manage or how will not one take manage this mm. issue of piracy for inside the industry? Because you know, so when it comes to piracy, first of all, they come outside talk, say, even before they do preview. Yeah, they feed the waka for mm. somebody. Do I'm not going to be surprised. This is the same day there. 59, 59, was so, was so, was so. You know, so how will not one take manage or which plan will I get to manage piracy? So mm. that this thing go really mainstream and everybody go benefit from it equally as much as possible. Okay, so mm. what's the Paris in our spirit? Mm. <laughs> because you wonder how they leak. But since this film has been done, we try as much as possible to close all the edges. Mm. Even the yesterday media screen, we make sure everything, we try not to put it online, try not to do anything, we go make anything come out. And we believe, we pray. So Nigeria, after you do your work, you must pray. So Paris is a prayer, prayer point. The prayer point that God's people get given. They didn't know how to They didn't know. That's spiritual. They didn't enter. That's spiritual. Ah, my sister. Wow. So apart from that, too, we are also saying to people that now our own be this. You know, we don't go with our own hand to spoil our thing. You know, living in bondage, apart from being a film that will entertain people, it's a historical element in Nigeria. The first thing we put us on the global map is Nollywood, and the first Nollywood film is living in bondage. You know, if you call Nigeria for anywhere, they will say 419, this one, that one. But if you call Nolly, they will say, ah, Genevieve, ah, Ramsey, no one. The whole world loves it. So if this is our own point of celebration, then we should celebrate it rather than spoil it. Because if we pirate them, now let's spoil one spoiler with that. Because the whole international world will be interested. But this film, the film where they go put for major cinemas for around the world, say, see Nigerian best export. You understand me? So I even mean, this one, they talk to people out there, say, bros. I beg, no pirate. <laughs> eh? Help out, help Nigeria. In a very humble way. In a, uh, we are humble, we are begging you, my brother, Viko. Eh? Dalu. Ah. <laughs> Thanks a bunch of actually entered the house to talk Thank more about um, living in bondage. But we'll, just before we go, you get any scene where, if you now watch them now, you they always like cringe, like, ah, I don't believe say we do this particular scene. How no, we take get this one? I talk, I want to talk. I better talk. <laughs> well, again, one thing for the ABC, eh? this guy don't enter Ramsey, you don't enter gang, gang, inside church. You don't enter, so then this guy, um, um, came to Congo, maybe the priest, he to just stand Bish. as he entered, door open by himself. Bah! I'm just watching, 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 I'm I need to watch this movie. But that's not an accidental opening. Oh, oh. Uh, that's spirit, though. That's spirit, man. That's spirit, open it up. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, wow. wow. But what about you? You get any scene apart from this one with David Duncan? Actually, uh, for me, the start scene when you talk about that, I still did my own scenes because wow. again, that scene was heavy. You watched this for video screen yesterday. The old that, that's, that in the, that's in the epic. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, so. Don't show another one. Oh, let me show another one. So, but the thing is, is it represents a lot of things. It represents um, good and bad. It represents oh. devil and God. It represents everything that that's young and old. You know, and for me, that was the, the peak of the film. No. Wow. Yes. So wow. I think when you go watch it, just wait for I that. Can't wait to watch I can't it. wait to watch it. I really I mean, can't wait to I'm watch it. I'm forward to watching this movie. I'll be November 8th, I'll be. November 8th. Yes. I'm I don't mark yeah. I don't mark that for calendar. All right, thank you so much, say, on our conversation. I'm wishing the very best. Sorry, before you forget, we forget something. Yeah. Because people will really enjoy this film. We try to get the rights to put the old one online for people. Oh. So, oh. so if you want to watch, we'll get Living in Bondage, Breaking Free, YouTube handle. You can go there, you see the whole four hours film, you can watch every Four film. hours! Like, but the but old one we'll now make sure say they will chop too much megabytes. Two, 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 YouTube page that you see on there. I'm going to talk again. Go on YouTube. Living in bondage, breaking free.
you go there, you see that channel, you look for the full film. For the Living full in Bondi, film, yeah. Living in Bondi, yeah. So for you to understand the kind the kind uh, work where they put into this particular movie now, you're going to need to watch the old one. Sure. And for you to even understand the storyline, you're going to need to actually watch the old one. So go on the what? YouTube. They're very easy. They're very accessible. Go on yeah. YouTube. YouTube um, I'm Living there. in Bondage. Breaking Free. Breaking Free on top YouTube yeah. and watch the old one. Then wait for November 8th okay. for you to watch the new one. Mm. And then you will testify. <laughs> <laughs> spiritually and physically. No, no, no. no, you said the spiritual movie. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. All right, thank you so much thank for coming to the show. Thank you. Very, very best. Now, of course, we also get um, the media screening, the private media screening where we shared it just yesterday. We get clips of them. Oh, so wow. people will need to watch them so that this one will be there like long throat. So, oh, they need to come and see what it's like. We'll watch it. My name is Nakene Dogunkwo. Now I'm your gigger when I play. My name is Sean Fakwa, of course. I play Toby Wore in Living the Bondage sequel, so yeah. I'm David Jones, David, an actor, a singer, and an anti drug abuse campaigner. I played Uzoma in Living in Bondage, Breaking Free. My name is Omotunde Omojola. I'm the production manager for Living in Bondage, the sequel. My name is Naogo, O G O O. I be Afro soul artist, singer, and songwriter. Nah, the thing is sweet though, but nobody say they bring the one when we don't do back. They, 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 they write another one. Nobody say they follow, uh -huh. they follow the one when we don't do. Nobody say we can't do them again. I don't watch the first one before when I did small. So I just feel like I say, ah, this one they, they recreate the movie again, they do sequel. I say, man, they no go go spoil it they don't do the first time because that first one I like treasure. You understand? Uh -huh. So. As I they come the cinema day like this, but as I enter watch the performances of all the actors, Ramsey Noah, the guy we do Nam the OKK, then kill him 100 percent We knew we had a great story. We knew that we had to live up to the previous Living in Bondage, which was a classic, which was an iconic film. Um, um, 27 years later, we still found them selling it in the markets nowhere. And we knew that we had to make something. I would live up to the history, um, and I think we did. If you watch the first one, or you've heard about the first one, you would definitely know that this second one go bad. When you take, you give. It's the order of things. It didn't suit me well, well. You know, say so when we begin this thing, nobody give us chance. Because that time, movie never begin the ring. Your papa go say, read medicine. Your mama go say, read law, you know? So nobody, they, everybody, they look at people like, say, people went off, you go to school. So you, you, you can imagine when we do at that time, when everybody, doctor, lawyer, begin telling Pekin, now nah, acting, you go do. So the thing can't change the whole narrative. It is with me for Bele, say, now nah, my face, then watch, can't change your mind. Say, acting, now nah, better, you know. So 27 years after, all the Pekin, where they born that time, when they look us, now then follow us now, they act. And their papa and their mama, they do them like this. I lived, <laughs> but not in bondage, <laughs> you understand? I mean, when I tell me to in bondage, eh? you know that feeling like, say, guy, you don't blue. I get that feeling. When I come see the character, it didn't bust my brain, because that's the kind of character I like to play. We will not jump on the project. Um, when I first heard that they were making a sequel and uh, Mr. Ramsey is going to be the director, Mr. Steve Gook is going to be the producer, I couldn't think. Like I was just like, put me on it, put me on it. It was, it was um, interesting, yeah. I, I don't regret jumping on that project, yeah. It was, it was interesting. It was, it was, I mean, it was exciting, you know, especially because, of course, we're still toddlers but well, not toddlers but I was in primary school when I watched the first one so you can imagine being part of the sequel with all the some of the major cast from the first one also in this one it was quite exciting to be a part of so yeah and an honor as well so yeah this movie now movie when you go come watch for November 8th if this movie no there as I talk and come I go give you your money it was an amazing film and you need to go and watch it. Everybody needs to go and watch it. You should go see the movie. Like, Nigerian film industry just made it 360. I'm urging everyone out there to go see it. Me, I don't see him. You don't see him too now. Hi, B. You make brain. So please, guys, go and see it.
To enjoy more of this, our Ogonke videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.